Hello, you are welcome to I Can Make It. What a joy to be alive today and to celebrate God's goodness in the land of the living. Every day that God has given to us is a gift and a present. And in this present and in this time, we are full of gratitude so that we will not be grounded in the affairs of life. It's very important. A man that does not appreciate what he has, those things will depreciate in his life. Appreciate your children, appreciate your husband, appreciate your wife, and above all, appreciate your parents that give birth to you. It's very important. These are the laws of life that when you apply, you see your life going up and up and up. You never go down. It's always a joy coming out to share thoughts with you. Oh, and I can make it. Okay. I'm here with my own brother, Brother Callistus, as we come to discuss. I can, can make, make it. it. Hello, Callistus. Hello, sir. You Good. know, it's a joy coming to studio, <laughs> coming to share thought. This, I like this, your dress. Thank you, you too. You and we want to, you know, I want I grew... to see the, the, the guy that did it. The, the guy is a good guy. <laughs> No, you know, when I grew up, I like to dress uh -huh. like you. Thank you. <laughs> it's a joy. Thank you so much. Yeah. My privilege. Thank, Thank you. you so mm -hmm. much. Hello, viewers. Welcome. I know you are doing great. Yeah. I know you have left where you were mm -hmm. the last time you saw us, the last time you watched this program, mm -hmm. and you are in a new level. Mm. From today again, you will get to another level. Amen. All right. So, thank you. And welcome again. So, um, we've been talking about the difference between the capacity and the mindset of the rich mm. and of the poor and of the middle class and mm. then last time we left off we were talking about you know investments we we're talking about you know um, savings we we're talking about a whole lot all right so today we want to start with this nugget or with this point with this difference between the rich and the poor mm -hmm. and middle class now the rich follow their passion and do things they love to make money mm. listen to that they follow their passion it comes from here they follow their passions to do things that they love to make what money while the poor and the middle class earn money doing things they do not love mm. obviously that's why they cannot make any headway in that mm -hmm. thing you cannot put your hands in the things that you do not love or you don't have passion for mm -hmm. and you expect to get a good return mm -hmm. no you cannot so we want to push you today we want to say please look for what you know you love and we know that that thing you love is inside of you all right just sit down and think what can i do that i love now look at this it says the rich people follow their passion and do things they love to make money mm -hmm. it's simple search out what you love once you discover what you love number two begin to think of how to translate that thing that you love into money, money. that's what we're saying all right so that it can be fun leno messi is just loving himself making money having fun on the beach you know follow <laughs> just, his just following his passion and you know the wrestler the boxers the athletes the singers musicians Coppers. these people yes covers these guys are just doing what they love doing what they have passion for all right and then they are making money from it one advantage of making money from what you love to do is simple one you are not susceptible to mistake because it is what you know how to do all right number two you don't get tired of it mm. all right just like if you love to eat rice you don't just get tired of eating rice mm -hmm. in the morning you can eat rice in the afternoon you can eat rice mm -hmm. in the evening you can eat rice you mm -hmm. know i remember my mom used to say rice no those days were small wow sir we were eating rice <laughs> three times a day, <laughs> three times a day. <laughs> and we loved it we just liked it because again that was what was available you know so that's what we're saying okay just look for what you love to do and then look for a way corner that thing that you love into a channel where money will be flowing and seeping into so that's one mindset i mean that's one capacity that the rich have all right so they just look for what they can do i mean they just look for their track all right simply put run your track okay stay on your track all right because if you try to run into somebody's lc track there will be what there will crash. be a collusion there will, will be, be a, crash. a clash all right so even if 
the rich may start off doing things they do not love, it's always for a short period of time and on a temporary basis. The poor, however, get stuck doing what they hate on a permanent basis. And that's why they keep getting fired, okay? They get employed doing what they don't like they, uh, because they complain. They get tired of it. I mean, it's boring. If you don't love to do that thing, it gets boring. Mm -hmm. Yes, you will nag and complain about it, all right? But if you are doing what you love, you love to type, you are there typing, how can typing make money for you? You can play football. How can football make money for you, all right? Whatever you can, whatever you love to do, think of how that can generate money Profit. for you. Yes, sir. You know, we talked sense. about services, the rent you pay for every space you occupy. Mm. Yes. Now, learn to love what you do. Mm. Love what you do because in loving what you do, you are giving a total commitment to it. Mm -hmm. In loving what you do, you are going to bring out the best in that thing. Yes. You know, he said, see that a diligent man, mm -hmm. he will not start before me, man. Be diligent in whatever you do and whatever your hand finds to do, do it well. It's a well, it's a job done well that you get a well done for. Yeah. So if you really want to fulfill your life, just love what you do if you know you don't love it pull out of it because you can't be blessed doing yes. what you hate mm -hmm. and you can never also change what you hate if you don't love that job give attention to it go and get the job that you love a lot of people they are in school they don't love that course it's better for you to wait at home for five years and get to do a course that you want to do than for you to be a graduate and yet the course you don't like and your life become more miserable. There are some people today, the, even the work they, they, they are working is not the best. They are not putting in their best. best. That is why I see Friday is their best day mm. because they, they want to resign. They, like holidays, they yes. want to resign. They like holidays. Mm. They don't want to be committed to nothing. Mm. So it's very important that if you really want to find joy, do what you love and pursue your passion. If you pursue your passion and you are passionately about it, you find out that he helps you. Today, I was discussing with one of our sisters about a man that is into fashion design. Mm -hmm. He's in Nigeria here, and the wife used to be a makeup artist, mm -hmm. and the wife also joined him. Mm -hmm. Both he and his wife, they are into fashion now. They do good clothes, and they even send those clothes abroad. And people there, when they see those that wear it, they are wondering, oh, what, where yes. do you do this to your dress? Yes. And from there, the other people there also come and earn Naira. And these people here earn in dollars, in dollars by the reason of your delivery. Whatever you are doing, be happy doing it. Don't think that you are favoring somebody by working. Mm. Everybody is working for himself. As I'm in the studio right now, I am happy doing what I'm doing. I'm doing service. And in return, there must be something for me. That's it right. might not be now. I might just be guarding a cloud that the rain is going to fall. It might just be your introduction that you are listening to this program, and this program has been a blessing. That's where my blessing is. Yes, so right. it's very important That's for right. you to do and be passionate about what you are doing. You are not actually helping anybody. You are actually helping yourself yes, by doing your job properly and do it well so that you can get a well done job wow. at the end of the day. Wow. It's very important. Let's wow. read. Let's right. read this. So yes. let's, let's, let's get you know, a very uh, critical um, um, uh, example from Steve uh, uh, Seabold, mm. uh, the author of How Rich People Think. Yeah. He says this. He says, one of the smartest strategies mm. of the world class is doing what they love and finding a way to get paid for it. Mm -hmm. So strategy. Mm. Alright. So loving what or doing what you love is a strategy. Mm. That's what he says here. That one of the smartest strategies of the world class I mean, is doing what they love and finding a way to get paid yes, for it. All right. Paid. So maybe you are in craft, you know, you, you know how to, you, I mean, you just know how to use your hands to craft out things, you know. I mean, it's, it's just fun for you. When you are doing it, you, I mean, you can be conversing over the phone. You can be talking, you know, with friends, uh, you know, and all that. But you are working, you are doing something. Think of how to get paid for what that thing that you are doing that you love so much. Mm -hmm. That's what... Uh, 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 Steve uh, Seabold says, okay, that it is what? It is smartness. It is a strategy. That is what we want to encourage you to do. He said, but on the other hand, the poor and the middle class take jobs 
they do not, not enjoy, enjoy because they need money. the money. And, and that's yes. yes. Yeah, want, you know, you know, there, are, there are a lot of people like that. Yes, Instead of them to do job to mm. satisfy their customer, yes, sir. they do the job for the money. Mm. They are not. They are not really interested in yes. delivering that job yes, as, good. as good. They are interested mm. in taking the money. Mm. Some of them, you hear this word mm. in their mouth. Mm. Uh, it's, uh, it's not work we are looking for. Mm -hmm. We are looking for money. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are not looking for work. That is not good at there all. That's a bad one. It's a bad one. It's a bad and one. And that thing had the capacity mm. to rob you of yeah. your joy, of yeah. your peace, of yes. your satisfaction. Mm -hmm. of of your breakthrough mm, so mm. you don't just look for mm. money look for customer satisfaction mm, mm, because mm. one job guarantees a better a big better, one yes so it's very important yes. it's very important yes. that this was uh, steve scambo is saying See, here, yes, that we need to not just take the job because of the the need of the money they have been what programmed by mm. the society mm. and they are trained in school to believe, to believe that, that hard work, hard work equals is equals to, to success. success yes Hard work is what to say. The rich, however, know that smart work is equal to success. Mm -hmm. Not just hard, but do the job smartly. Mm -hmm. How do you do job smartly? By being creative. Creativity. Yes. That's by right. working without supervision. That's right. That's how you do job smartly. Smart. By working without supervision. Right. It's very important right. that you be creative in what you are doing. That's there right. is a better way of doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. So creativity is what leads to progress and so, prosperity wow. in life wow i like that mm. <laughs> so creativity is exactly what leads to what progress in life mm. all right so he says it's if if this were not true the laborers we see around us every day should mm. be one of the richest people in our country mm. what we're saying is that if if if, if smart oh, yes. work doesn't lead to success then hard workers I mean, the laborers we mm. see around should have been the billionaires. I mean, walking around the streets and all that. Yeah, so we say, put some smartness in that thing that you love to do, and success will come knocking on your door. door. Right. Right. It's very important for you to know that we love you and we want to see you uh, get blessed. We want to yes. see you move forward. Yes, right. This is I can make you. Want to get a feedback from you or how ah, this program has been a blessing to you? We love you and. Bye-bye until bye -bye. you see you in our next edition. God bless, bless you. Bye-bye.